Hi, welcome to the Atlantic Laser Works workshop. Today I want to tell you about this moose antler that I had the privilege of engraving for a customer for a Father's Day gift. Uh, here's how we did it. First, I needed to use the four inch lens, but it didn't fit between the tines of the moose antler. So uh, I needed to take the cone off my two inch lens and just put it on the four inch and that gave me what I needed. Also, we had to jimmy rig the safety so we could run with the lid open. It's just a magnetic catch. So we just stuck a magnet on there and then the laser would run with its lid open. So that was all set up and we got it as level as we could. Uh, thankfully that four inch lens has a good tolerance. And then here's the design. I had done the design in Procreate on my iPad and then just shifted it over in a PNG to Lightburn. I chose Jarvis as the image mode. We're gonna travel at 10 inches per second, 50, max power. I, ha I do have it set to shade um, with power. So when you zoom in on the preview, it looks pretty dark and I was really just hoping for the best. You can see when you zoom in that there is detail there still and so I was really hoping that the Jarvis burning would work out well but when it actually came out after its first burn it was just sort of an even silhouette. It, it hadn't really given me much depth so I did a second pass in the sketch mode. Take a look at the preview for the sketch mode. Uh, and you can see it's really just capturing the darkest parts of that design that I had brought in here. The, the water and the canoe are completely gone. Um, so it's just going to burn those really, really black areas. So here we go. Thankfully, I hadn't shifted the the antler at all and I'm doing the second pass here and as you can see you can see it like the caribou that's not done is quite flat but there's a lot of detail in the trees where it's done its second pass so I was pretty happy with that it did have a lot of this powdery residue on it so I just went in with a really stiff bristle brush and my air compressor um, just brushed it and squirted it with air I worked a little harder on some of the high spots that I wanted lighter and it took a bit more color off and so that was a really neat way to shade it. And here's the finished product. I gave it a couple coats of clear coat and you can see there is quite a bit of depth there with that second pass in the sketch mode so I was really happy with how it turned out. Ultimately I do wish that I could have stretched the graphic bigger and covered more of the antler. But even though, you know, we had set the origin to the center of the design so it wouldn't have to go outside the antler, just the movement back and forth of the lens, I just couldn't get it any bigger without the nozzle whacking into one of the tines. But the client was really happy with it and I think it looks pretty great. Yeah. So thanks again for stopping in. If you ever have a chance to do an antler, go for it. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't smell so bad. Um, and good luck.